Maybe you're feeling like your Squarespace website design is feeling a little bit boring and you want to spice it up a little bit, add some fun elements, but you don't know what to do. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite ways to kind of dress up your text on your website. We're going to look at changing color, scaling the size of your text regardless of if it's header one or paragraph three. We're going to look at some fun highlight options and I'm going to show you how to animate your text as well. And then of course, if you go overboard and you want to clear all that out, I'll show you how to do that too. So you can see I am here on just like a blank page on my website, a blank section. So I am going to add a block of text and show you a couple things that you can do on your website. So let's try this. A little subtle message for you there. I'll center it and let's kind of dress this up and see what we can do with this. So obviously you've got paragraph two is our just basic copy text. You can change between headers and paragraph texts easily. You've probably figured that out. There's the bold, there's the italic. We know about these, right? Let's look at some other fun ways to play with our text. So a lot of times what I like to do is anywhere throughout the site, whenever I mention the brand name or the person's name, I will, let's say, highlight the text, bold it, and then I will change the color. I don't want to change the color of all of my paragraph two text. I just want to change this one call out brand name or business name. So that's one just basic, simple way to do it, to change the color of just a couple words here and there. Super easy to do in this new editor. Something else we can do, I'm gonna, here's how you clear your, your styling is this TX right here, that's the clear formatting button. So I'm gonna clear that out. Something else we can do is this AA with like the kind of little swiggly underline. I like using these a lot lately. If I go to look at these options, we could have it circled. We could have like a squiggly underline. We could have like top and bottom lines. It kind of messes up the lettering. Um, we can change with, let's see, we could do a background color. Super fun. I like using this a lot. I'll actually show you on my home page. You can see right there, it just kind of swiped over on Squarespace. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see works for you did the same thing. That is using this highlight feature right here. And to have it swipe across, I just turn on the animation and I leave it as the default. But you can change the direction, the duration, the type, all sorts of things that you can play around with here. So I would probably bold that if I were going to use that. Something else we can do that I've been using a lot lately for various reasons. Let's say I want some text to be really large on my page, but I don't want to alter my header one size across my whole site. Well. If I have some large text, let's make it header one, but let's say I want it to be even bigger than this. If I highlight this text and click the A with the two brackets around it, it's gonna scale the text to whatever size you make the text block, or whatever width at least you make the text block. So that has been something fun that I've been playing with lately. The other way that I use it is if I want to get the header one in on the home page for SEO purposes, but for example, I don't want to like duplicate my client's name as their logo and like the header one right under that, I will make it really small. That way I can get it on the page. I can check the box for SEO. Here is my header one. I've got the text in there, but it's not taking up this huge header one font size that I've set for my site. So whether you want to make something really big or really small, that is how you can do that and kind of get around your basic site styles that you've set for the whole site. Let's look at something else here as we're doing this text scaling. So you can see I make the box a little bit bigger and it is like hugging the top of this box here, but maybe I want it to be, let's play around here. Maybe I want it to be centered with this text. 
so I can move my boxes. You can see these are the shapes of my boxes. But I don't like how my large text is lining up at the top of that block. If I click on my text block once, and then I hit this little up arrow here, I can center align it in the block, or bottom align it. Bottom align, yeah, bottom align sounds funny, but yeah, align bottom or align top. Now keep in mind when you do that, that over on the mobile version, it will keep the align top. So if you want it to be the same on mobile, you're gonna have to go check all of these in your mobile view to make sure they're reading the way that you would like them to. So we'll scale the block down, center it, and there you go. Let's center it. That yellow line going down the middle is centered on the page. Perfect. Okay, as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm seeing even more things that I can show you to do. So let's say this looks great, but still kind of boring. If I click on the text block once, Click this paintbrush icon, I can put a background on my text here. We can put an outline on it. We can do all sorts of things with it here. We can round the corners of that block. We can make it larger. All sorts of things you can do with your text. And you can do that on any text block on your website. You can also, of course, add a block and add a shape. But if you're just putting a shape behind one, um, one text block, I find it easier to actually put the text um, background on rather than combining the two different blocks. That was a lot at once, but basically put the background on your text block rather than combining a text and a shape block. Okay, something else that Squarespace has recently come up with is this pin right here. If I pin it, let's say we'll pin it to the top, see what happens. There's not a lot of text in so we might have to make our section bigger. Okay, so you can see when I am scrolling down this page, when you would think that that text should just keep going and scrolling off the page, it actually stays there and it is gonna pin to the top of your screen as long as this section is showing. Okay, now this is actually a live page on my website, so I'm going to remove this section that we've been playing around with. I'll save the page still, exit. If you want to put some animations on your text for site-wide styling, let's come into the site styles up here in the top right. And down here under miscellaneous, you will see an animations option. I don't have any animations turned on from my site, but you can preview these. So you saw the fade. We do scale. There's slide. Clip and flex. It's That's honestly all too much for my site, but I've used the fade on a couple client sites and I think it looks really nice. You could slow down the animation, speed it up, whatever feels best to you, but that is how you animate the text and apply it across your site. Right now the animation setting is just a site-wide styling and not specific to blocks here and there, although I think that would be a nice update and a design styling option that I personally would like to see. I hope you've enjoyed learning about these text effects, these text styling options here on Squarespace with me today. Final piece of advice for you here is to not overdo it. We don't want text styling on every piece of text copy on your website. Keep it simple, simple as best, easiest to read, but have fun sprucing up your text here and there to make it really pop and stand out you've enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you'll like and subscribe. I think another one that you might like is all about how to create gradient backgrounds on your Squarespace site, so I will link that up for you next, and I will see you over there.